You have a spiritual connection. Connected? Connection. There's an almost spiritual connection. That transcends the physical realm. Spiritual. Spiritual. It's, it's, it's spiritual. Personal and spiritual growth. I've grown up in a conservative part of the world, one where people have, you know, sort of this egotistical belief in themselves. In my last video, I did sound a bit pull yourself up by your bootstraps E, And I want to turn my brain onto the other side and show a more empathetic view because I, I've always had this confliction with family members and people that are close to me. It, people are rather unempathetic towards homelessness. There's a lot of blame on the individualism of it. And uh, there was a point in my life where I was around a lot of homeless people. So I, I guess I have a nuanced view of it, but this really is directed towards people who genuinely believe homelessness is caused by individual efforts. I always view of it this way. Let's say there's a factory next to the beach and the factory produces all this toxic waste and chemicals and whatever, travels down a big long tube and there's this giant tube burning out toxic waste into the ocean. The goal of the factory is to refine all this precious material. It creates a bunch of waste in the, in the meantime, but instead of holding all that waste in the factory, it just merely spews it out to the ocean. This is a consequence of mass production because whenever you're trying to create something, there, there's gonna be an element of waste attached to that. Look at anywhere in the world where you have the poorest neighborhoods, Mexico City, Hong Kong, New York, Los Angeles. What's right next to it? Extreme wealth, high rises, skyscrapers, factories. Because much like the factory making waste, society elevates a select few and in the process makes a bunch of waste at the bottom. To bring it back to uh, even closer, to think that individuals can't carry out grand consequences is a bit naive. Someone can light a house on fire and then people inside the house burn to death. So if someone, you know, intentionally has these business practices that make addictive chemicals that inherently make people suffer and drive them down this, this path, it's much like lighting the match. You know this is gonna cause harm, you know this is not gonna go well with most people, and you know it's gonna end in death, disease, addiction. Yet you do it anyway. Yeah, you go ahead and it's, well, if I'm not gonna do it, then someone else is gonna do it. This is just a part of nature that bears eat rabbits. Doesn't make the bear bad or good. I'm just a bear eating my meals, right? But at the consequence of lighting that match, people burn because of it. And, and even worse, people will, will be burned into the fire and some will make it out unscathed and they'll go, see, it was possible to make it out of that fire unscathed. Other people did it. Why weren't you able to just pull yourself up by your bootstraps and make all the right decisions while things were on fire? These companies have, have lit in a giant fire across the nation and it makes it very hard to succeed. It makes it hard not to have attention deficit disorder. It makes it hard not to have addiction. It makes it hard to do anything with your life because if you do anything from the waste, it affects the production of the factory. And sometimes, either the worst case scenario, some people make it out of that fire and then assume that makes them special. Like I was able to get myself out of the waste. So I'm just inherently better than you. Plenty of examples. I'm not gonna get too specific here, but you get what I'm saying. Just statistically, some people are gonna make it out of it. That doesn't make it possible or better. In fact, the less people that make it out of it, it's just more inherent that the system is creating that waste. If you wanna get rid of the waste, the factory can't produce. So if you wanna get rid of all of the hellish homeless situations, you have to get rid of the billionaire CEOs. The two are attached to each other. If you don't think that's true, rewatch this video. The logic is there. Some people are willing to light that match. They have the power, they have the fuel, they have the capabilities to start this giant fire and they will profit because of it. And people will burn inside and every time people burn, they'll just go, well, why didn't they make the right choices and get out of the fire? Well, they had free will, right? Why were they even there? They could have not been in that fire. As above, so below. So I, I really do question people to think about this problem. The intensity in the situation of homelessness is unprecedented because the intensity 
of the wealth gap is unlike it's ever been before. The billionaires, the tech billionaires, aren't comparable to any monarchs. A monarch is the equivalent of like an 18 year old relatively successful YouTuber. The amount of power you can carry out with that, with billions of dollars today is, is forever gonna be more inherently more powerful than it was in the past. Because of this gap, there is more waste at the bottom. So yeah, I, I just genuinely wonder every time you see someone who's crazy or unhinged or that intense of homeless and addicted, you have to ask yourself what fires led to this kind of burn. Do you think their mother is just like they popped out and their mother was like, hello, you beautiful angel, I'm gonna treat you perfectly. Or were they born in an alley to a crack addict and they've been working from that from day one. Why were they born in an alley to a crack addict? Well, she got addicted on opiates when she was 18 in the 90s because she broke her ankle in a high school play or something like that. It's really insidious. It's the butterfly effect. It's the belief that these these few individuals didn't cause these fires and i'm not trying to blame again this is all as it should be we're going through this cycle right now because it's important it's important to understand these cycles and it's intense and it makes us filled with hatred but this pain that we're feeling and that gap that we're seeing is going to be the distance we're going to be covering in the near future it's not going to be great for a lot of people in the upcoming years there's going to be a question of human value and human life why have humans at all and then it's going to be one of those situations and find out because once you create that gap and the trust is entirely broken between the people and its society, it doesn't come back. When you see someone doing that bad in life, it's insane to think of that as an indication that you're doing well because you're so much closer to Kensington than you are to Elon Musk. Yet more people are sympathetic with these characters. It's, it's concerning, but I'm just trying to bring up these points so we talk about them. You have a spiritual connection. Connected? Connection. There's an almost spiritual connection. That transcends the physical realm. Spiritual. Spiritually. It's, it's, it's spiritual. Personal. Spiritual growth. 